What is the blessing? Not blessings. The blessing. The blessing. The blessings are things. Blessing is the investment of the integrity of God behind you to deliver. So, what is the blessing? We have done several of that. I think the first time we looked at what find and just insight and concept. Look at the divine wisdom. Have it? Last week we had sport tithing, offering, and all those things. Now, what we said was that when God releases the blessing of man because he has practiced the covenant text, I, I get I get in that. I will mean. Because the blessing doesn't come because the blessing for wealth doesn't come because past and pray. The blessing get well comes because you practice the covenant. And we said the covenant is called obedience of faith. With giving, tithing, offering, sacrifices, all those things under it. Obedience of faith. Being obedient to the instructions of God as, re, as, as regards God's covenant of wealth. While the act remains, sit down and have a shall never cease. So when you the what comes is the blessing of God. When God wants to prosper you because you have practiced the covenant, what this is, is the blessing. Oh, he said, Bring you all the tithes into my storehouse that there may be meat in my house. He said, Prove me and see if I, God, will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Pour you out my commitment to your financial power. So the blessing is God's commitment to empower your finances. And when God releases the blessing, it's not pounds and dollars and cities that fall from heaven. When God opens the windows of heaven, when blessings come down, it comes in several articles. It comes in shades and forms. And you must understand what those things means. People give offerings and then they are expecting money to fall from heaven. She was a gift. It shall be given unto you. And I thought also that the prosperity we're talking about comes as a result of building systems. If I give you $1,000, that's the prosperity. No. If I give you a million dollars, it's not prosperity. It's called gifts. It's a gift to you. You must now learn how to build systems around that. So people think that when they say, give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press than me. If I give offering, then I go to town, then it must be giving you money every day. No. No. The prosperity of the kingdom hangs or anchors on systems. So when I give you $1,000, become a seed. You must now know how to build a system out of that $1,000 to enter realms of prosperity. So God will release one of the articles is favor. He release his favor to you. Then people begin to, the blessing comes and produce favor. Then people begin to give to you. If you think that what they are giving to you is food, you will eat it and eat it and eat it and God says, okay, this boy is foolish. So in the wilderness, because they will not plant, God had to get them gold and silver. In Egypt, when they got to the promised land, they had to now plant and sow and use the gold they gathered to build systems. They say plant fires and eat of them, build houses and dwell in them. So, if you are not committed to building systems around the articles of the blessing, you will never prosper. That's the truth. We, 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 we said earlier that Solomon received the article of blessing, and the article came as a function of divine wisdom. And Solomon institutionalized divine wisdom. And then kings of the world were coming to him to tap and to hear his wisdom. And as they were coming, they were bringing things. They could not shave her And gave her things, gave him things. Gold, silver, frankincense. All because Solomon institutionalized divine wisdom. So every of the article that comes to maybe is divine ideas inside. You must learn how to build a system with it. That is how kings will come to it. Nobody wants a raw idea. Nobody wants raw anything. Everybody wants something that we institutionalize that they can come to. So when God gives you favor and somebody gives you money and gives you some access, what you need to do is to build a system around such blessings. That's how prosperity comes. It doesn't come because you are. No. No. There must be a, as a man of God. As a man of God. 
kind of way that God will list this is give insight, idea, graces, access, favors. You must now learn how to institutionalize those graces. <laughs> Imagine you're in the house and you're just preaching to yourself because there are nothing has come up. Send me for the mirror. Then you're preaching. You preach, 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 preach. Amen. Then you can't sleep. <laughs> Wake up, face the mirror. Preach, 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 preach. Then you go and sleep. Because the anointing will keep up, will, will be coming. The insight will be coming. You now have to learn how to institutionalize that thing. How do I do it? Start. You know, go to the fellowship, go to the church, go to the meetings, write the books, do the recording tapes. You get that? That's how to go. Because with that phase, it can go across the world and people can be blessed with it. And until they are blessed, they will never be a blessing to you. So you can stand in front of me and say, okay, I've been preaching to the preaching all these years. Nobody gave to me. You are not, you have not institutionalized the gifts of God in your life. I'm not saying go and sell the gifts. No. Build a system around it that will convey to people whatever you know how to do. You must learn how to build a system around it. Prosperity flows through systems. Prosperity flows through systems. Systems. Not ideas. Systems. Thank God for the ideas. But you must build a system with the idea. That's how come it will come. You don't have a seed and call it prosperity. A cocoa seed is not, is not prosperity. A cocoa seed is a seed. Eh? You can, if I give you a cocoa, one cocoa pod. Hmm? One cocoa pod. That is a manch, that is, how do you call it? How do you call it? A forest of cocoa trees. But you must learn how to build a system with that one pod to access the forest. Do you get it? So God told, you know, the man, he said, he said, in chapter 1, verse 28, he said, uh, you know, he, he blessed him in verse 29. He said, Bill, I've given you every tree in whom is their own seed. If you like, eat the seed. If you like, replant the seed. So Adam was committed to replanting the seed. That is how he will fill the entire earth. The systems of God. So, prosperity doesn't come because you, you are giving you can be giving and be poor. That's the truth. You can be a tighter and still be poor. Because God is committed. He agrees the blessing. But the blessing is not money. So you can be very blessed and very poor. Because the blessing of God has, are in spiritual quantities. You must learn how to decode them into your mind. And then begin to transmit them to your actions. Building systems with them. Systems. So I said that uh, anywhere that people are asking for your counsel perpetually is a pointer to the type of the wisdom of God upon your life. Now, you must now learn how to build systems around such wisdom so as to attract kings to it. So Solomon built a system of, 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 of royal consultancy. See you Solomon. David. Royal consultancy. So all the kings, including the king from the village, went there. The Bible said all the kings, all the kings of the earth came. So you must learn how to build systems. Hey, I can cook. It doesn't turn to prosperity. You must learn how to do systems with it. That's, I don't believe a living human being can be alive without having a beast raised in his name. You are not serious in life. Because the prosperity of God does not come as money. It will come as God honoring the systems you have built. 